Good morning and welcome to Bible in Ear, as today is day 290 of 365 days, <clears throat> as we're going through the Holy Bible in 365 days, and in the New International Version, my name is Pastor Jay Lutz, and we are on in the period of uh, Maccabean Revolt. This is where uh, Judas Maccabeus, uh, his father, and his brother and many others stand up against the Greeks and they rebel against uh, them not being able to um, serve their God and have their temple worship. And, and so we see this now there. The Greeks are getting overtaken by the Romans and the Romans want to make peace with the Jews. And so we see um, what becomes of that. And so, uh, but that'll be in our optional reading. This that we're reading today is just simply going to be Proverbs chapter 23, verses 1 to 4. Just an overview. Uh, Solomon in this passage speaks to the etiquette of a wise person, not to be given into things like gluttony, envy, or greed, but practicing self-control. That's where wisdom lies. So we'll get into it. We'll read together. Proverbs chapter 23, verses 1 to 4. When you sit to dine with a ruler, note well what is before you, and put a knife to your throat if you are given to gluttony. Do not crave his delicacies, for that food is deceptive. Do not wear yourself out to get rich. Have the wisdom to show restraint. Here ends our reading. So yeah, this talks to uh, us about what it means to have um, etiquette at the table, uh, that we don't um, want what others have. Um, that's part of uh, the spiritual etiquette, that we don't crave what others have, that we don't envy the things that they, they the riches that they have, the things that they wear, uh, but that we show wisdom and restraint because... It's not ours to have. Uh, God gives, as it says, God giveth and God taketh. You know, God gives us all the wealth and the riches that we have. And he withholds it from us too. Uh, and we, uh, we, we should not be envious or boastful or do anything that puts our, ourself at, uh, at risk. Um, and to not um, overindulge. Uh, that's the idea of gluttony, um, that we, again, practice restraint. Um, and this shows those around us that, um, as Jesus says, man does not live on bread alone, but every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. That when we show restraint, we show that, that these things don't have power or control over us, uh, but only God. And we do this by fasting. And in other ways of showing that where our, where our focus is, where our priority is, that we prioritize ourselves first and foremost in God and that God has ultimate control over us and not our stomachs or, or our eyes or, our, you know, our need for stuff, um, but that we need God and God above all. And we thank God that God teaches us these lessons uh, and that we... We take these to heart and we practice these in our lives. Um, it's great instruction for us. Uh, we also thank God for all he's given us in prayer. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you that you do not hold your goodness from us, um, but that you give us um, and with abundance, if not on this world, in the world to come. We thank you, God, that you have given us words to live by, uh, that we might practice the virtues of you, O oh God, the virtues of self-control, um, that we, uh, we only want more than anything a relationship with you, that we only want the good things that you can give us, and that we can wait upon these things because we know that our ultimate treasure, our ultimate gift, our ultimate um, desires will be filled when we come to you in heaven, uh, and you give generously to those who wait. We thank you for all these things. In Jesus' name we pray. 
Amen. Thank you again for joining me today in this day 290. Uh, thank you for joining me along this route. And I just pray that these words of wisdom, these words of uh, discernment and discipline might soak into your heart and that you might come to know them more and more and that you might um, heed the words of God for their words um, that lead to life and life to the fullest. May we ever walk in God's ways to his glory. Amen.